with Calgary Hitman General Manager Jeff Chanel. Uh, the 2020 WHL Bantam Draft is in the books now. Jeff, you look back on what you and your scouting team were able to accomplish on Wednesday. Uh, you know, how do you feel coming out? Well, I think uh, we feel like probably every team in the Western Hockey League that, you know, you left the draft feeling pretty confident and pretty excited about the future. And I, I caution it every year when I'm asked that question, because I always say to truly judge a draft class, you have to wait three years. But, you know, leaving the online computer instead of the table as previous years, you know, I, we felt good with our, our selections, our 10 players, and uh, we look forward to watching them grow and evolve and hopefully into regular Calgary Hitman roster players down the road. Now, Oliver Tulk, he was the first player off the board and, um, you know, selected by uh, the Hitman. What was it about his game or what is it about his game that you really like? I think it's really everything about his game. He isn't just an offensive guy. He put up big numbers in Bantam, which a lot of those elite players do. But what really sold us was his, his two-way game, his responsibility in his own zone at a young age. That isn't usually young kids have to be taught that when they come to our league. Uh, making his line mates better, uh, excellent shot. Uh, uh, you know, just the, the intangibles. And I mean, you know, he's a young guy that's going to have to get bigger and stronger, just like the, all the kids selected on, on Wednesday. But I really believe that, I mean, he's going to be a great addition to our hockey club. And, uh, you know, you hear this all the time, but he was the one guy that uh, we narrowed it down to three forwards. We felt we were going to take a forward with our first selection. And uh, in, with Dallas Thompson and Gary Mikula, they really felt strongly, as did I, that uh, he was the best choice. So uh, you make 10 selections across the whole day. Um, you know, what do you like about some of the depth that you were maybe able to get a little bit later in the draft? Well, I think, Taylor, the big thing for us was we wanted to get some skill. There's no substitute for skill. I always say you got to be able to change the scoreboard from zero to one to win any games. And we think we've added skill throughout. Uh, we've added some uh, puck moving defensemen. Uh, the game is so fast today, you've got to be able to get the puck up to your forwards as quick as possible. We think we've got some puck moving defensemen that are already on our hockey team, but are gonna got some other younger ones in the 04 and 05 age group now that, you know what, we're both well for us down the road as the game evolves at all the time. Uh, we like the, like I said, we like the skill. We've got some players, you know, I, like later in the draft, some bigger guys. I look at, uh, excuse me, as I look over at Xander Schulte, his dad played with Spokane in our league. Uh, you know, Paxton, you know, a big, a big guy who can also score because you want to have a little bit of a mix in your lineup. And uh, so we're, we're excited about the, the whole group and uh, we're excited about our old fours as well. And, uh, you know, when we all get together and eventually have training camp, I think, uh, you know, it's going to be a good uh, role well for our organization. So, uh, you know, you mentioned training camp. Um, there's a little bit of work to be done before we get there, but, uh, you know, what's next for you and your hockey operations staff as we move through the off season here? Well, I think as a group, we're going to sit down and uh, strategize. We are obviously coming off the U S prospects draft and the WHL Bantam draft. That's 12 players. Now we've selected in the O five age group. Uh, we want to sit down, obviously would like to sign a few of them to a WHL standard player agreement. And uh, that's one of the things I think we're going to focus on between myself and Steve Hamilton, our head coach, we've reached out to the players uh, to welcome them to the organization. And so, you know, that's important. In the meantime, we're also talking to our returning players and the prospects that we think that have a legitimate chance to make our team next year. So, you know, the beauty of, there are some positives out of this right now is that you can exactly, you should be able to get a hold of the players because they should be at home and you can do these video conferencing and, uh, you know, with all the different platforms. So it's been good to meet you know, or talk to our players and our prospects, and we'll continue to do that moving forward. Now, speaking of the prospects, obviously the Bantam draft every year, it's a big day for those players. It's a big day for their families and obviously the clubs. Um, you know, considering your experience, you've been through a number of these, you know, what sort of positive message would you deliver to, to those kids coming out of the WHL Bantam draft? Well, I think, again, it's going to take time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And I mean, everybody in this generation wants everything now. Well, this is a big jump. And I mean, it's a big jump, even when you move from 15 to 16. You know, I was, uh, I had a boy who played in the Western Hockey League and he made the jump from 15 to 16. And looking back, he's now 25, probably wasn't the right move at that time, but we all want some everything right away. And, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. And I mean, it's a great league with great coaches. And I mean, it takes time. And I mean, you make sure that, you know, when you make the jump, 
that you know you're ready and I mean physically and mentally and uh, you know so it's it's a lot of things that go into it so you know I, I just think take your time enjoy the ride you know next year for 99.9% .9 of the players they're going to play major midget hockey excuse me or under 18 now it's called that you know make the most of it and you know come with a mindset the following year to make a Western Hockey League team.